We're rolling into week four, and we're looking at the waiver wire, and one of the top running backs right now is Bucky Irving. He's been looking good. A matter of fact, every week when we do look at the waiver wire, we're looking at Bucky Irving, but now he's at the tippy, tippy top of the waiver wire, and everybody's wondering whether or not they need him for fantasy football. We're going to deep dive the advanced analytics right here today to see whether or not you need them. You can take that information do what you want with it. But before we dig in, you need to click that subscribe button right now. We're doing deep dives every day. All the top players on the waiver wire. We're also covering the waiver wire with videos. And then later this week, we'll use these videos to help you set your lineup. Click that button. Stop missing out. But he is a big waiver wire get this week for week four everybody's gonna be picking him up i look for him to be one of the top waiver wire claims and he's gonna be good for the long term and he's gonna get you some touches in between time as well we're gonna to listen to tampa bay bucks head coach todd bowles talk about these running backs talk about the touch share between these two running backs and bucky irving I'm just curious why rashad white out snapped bucky irving so much 42 to 18 does that have anything to do with bucky and his ability to get down the, the playbook at this point or pass protection thing I had nothing to do with anything. I mean, we were behind. Uh, we threw it a little bit more. Rashad's probably better pass protected at this point, but Bucky's definitely earned more reps. There wasn't much said there, but Rashad White was not near efficient in the ground game as Bucky Irvin, but he did earn more reps in the passing game. They were playing from behind. He's good catching the ball in the backfield. He's also got more work at the NFL level. He's a little bit more stout, so he was going to get more of that work. But Bucky Irvin is chewing into that workload he's chewing into it rather quickly remember we're only three years into his nfl career and we're looking at the waiver wire fantasy pros has him as the top get off the waiver wire this week ahead of braylon allen braylon allen really should be rostered already but bucky irving up there because he's a young running back with upside getting workload and is carving out a big role in this offense Going back to high school, highly sought after recruit, had a lot of offers, four-star prospects, started off with Minnesota. We finished at Oregon, though, back-to-back 1,000-yard -back seasons, 6.8 yards per carry the first year, 6.3 the next. Also, 3.99 yards after contact per attempt last year, 4.36 in 2022. What you'll see when you notice the tape, he's very good between the tackles. You see how slippery he is now. He's slippery back then. That was in the scouting report. And then also, he is very good in the passing game. You can wheel him out in the slot. You can put him out wide. You can also run a lot of routes with him. He's good after the catch, so he's multifunctional. 9.6 yards after the catch per reception in 2023 and on his career, which is very good, which means he's very electric in open space, so you can look at that as a runner as well. So if he's got room to breathe, he's going to get you a big chunk of yards. We're already seeing that at the NFL level. But this is also confirmation with a larger sample size on top of three games. That's why we're looking at this on what he can do on the football field. We get to the combine, run a 4 5, five 40 yard dash, which I'm fine with. That's more than fast enough to get the job done at the NFL level. But a lot of people retracted on him. A lot of people talked up his game going into the combine because you watch him on tape. He's good as Gusto. He's good between the tackles, catches the ball in the backfield. He's got wiggle. He runs with some power for his size. But due to his size and just athleticism, ranks in under the 30th percentile, which is something you don't like among running backs. But he's got vision. He's got patience. He's got wiggle. He's good in the open field. He's got enough speed to burn. We're all seeing this already at the NFL level. And on top of that, we can catch balls out of the backfield. 11 fantasy points last week. We got the job done on the ground. Average 7.78 yards per carry. 9 carries, 70 yards. Caught 3 balls for 14. And we're just getting more and more work each week. And it's a sustainable workload that can give you up and down production right now for fantasy football. And it looks like he's probably going to eat more workload as we get deeper into the season because he's looking like the more efficient running back compared to Rashad White. Rashad White's good in his own right, but not very efficient at the NFL level. We have good speed. We got good size. We were drafted in the third round. But really, when you look at his yards per carry, 2.1 right now in 2024, 3.6 last year, 3.7 in 2022. 
Not a very efficient running back when it comes to running football. He's great in the passing game. He's great catching the ball out of the backfield. He's good in pass protection. But still, running between the tackles with the vision, with the patience, being able to manipulate the linebackers is something he's not very good at compared to Bucky Irvin. Even at college, he wasn't tremendously efficient. Average 5.5 yards per carry, which is great for the college game. But when you look at top prospects, 6, 7 is what you really want to look at. But he's always been good at catching balls out of the backfield. His size adjusted speed combined with him catching balls out of the backfield is what got you excited about him as a prospect. But now the rubber's meeting the road here. If we met a running back here that's better between the tackles and can catch the ball out of the backfield, and now we're almost dead nuts even on opportunity share. Rashad White's at 29%, Bucky Irvin's at 21%, and we're starting to creep into a timeshare where it's almost a 50-50 split per the opportunity share. So that's something to note going forward because Bucky Irvin's only three games into his career and he's already flashing here. You're looking at the rushing attempts here. 31 for Rashad White, 25 for Bucky Irving. Bucky Irving, 154 rushing yards. Rashad White has not put up a 100 spot yet. Total on the season and averaging 2.1 yards per carry. When Bucky's averaging 6.2, which is very top tier. Of course, more volume might decrease it, but he's got almost similar volume to Rashad White, and he's crushing him. You don't need a running back, so you're not looking at Bucky Irving. I suggest looking at him as a very good stash option this point in the season. You're looking at a rookie running back who's already doing some things on the field. You may have another stash on your roster. You may want to flip and flop them. And I also recommend stashing running backs over stashing wide receivers because running backs, once they get the job, boom, they get the touches, and touches are half the battle. You need touches now. He's getting touches now. It's running about 8 to 10 touches per game. He's getting about 3 targets a game. He's getting about 8 carries per game, somewhere around there, and you want that. You want Bucky Irving because he's got the upside for the entire season. You're going to roll with that. You'll have him on your bench maybe, and you're just going to see what happens. You want him because of that upside. You think he's going to take Rashad White's role, which could potentially happen happen i look for it to be a split but i look for bucky irvin to continue to be good and earn more opportunity how much we got to see but he's doing very good for a rookie early in his career we got a lot of upside he's at least a stash play on your team a stash plus right now due to the touches and i think there's a lot of fantasy managers who are hurting right now that could probably plug him in at running back and just hope he does something with those 10 touches per game let me know what you think in the comments below make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out one thing for watching catch you on the next video